Hello everyone, this is Banashri Majumdar. Today I am going to explain about my final year major project that is 360XR Lab. So 360XR Lab is an AR based educational application specially for teachers. It allows teachers uh, to conduct advanced learning session with amazing graphics and AR technology. It will be having 3D simulations of the subjects from kindergarten to class 12. Users can switch anytime uh, from 3D mode to AR mode and AR mode to 3D mode as well. And the hardware uh, requirements for mobile is processor uh, Snapdragon 665 or above or similar, accelerometer and gyroscope, RAM minimum 4GB and internet connection must be there. And the hardware uh, requirements for computer is processor uh, Intel Core i3 or above or similar, graphics card NVIDIA GTX 1050 or above or similar, RAM minimum 4GB, webcam, mic, speaker and internet connection. Software requirement is uh, for mobile is uh, Android 7.0 or above or similar and AR toolkit. Software uh, requirement for computer is Windows 7 or above and 3D uh, view support system and AR core support system must be there. So let's see the modules. So uh, in this application, I have four modules. The that is uh, admin module, developer module, teacher module, and student module. So let's see the application itself now. So let's see the application. This is the splash screen, default splash screen of the Unity. So these are our first page, login page. So uh, as I have already logged in here, so no need to. Uh, log in second time with uh, your or mine uh, email address or password just I will simply click on this login button and uh, it will yeah it will open the app so let's see the menu bar so you can see uh, there is some options like profile plans classes contact settings and sign out if I click on this profile then you can uh, see this full name of the user mobile number email address and you can Change the password uh, to click on this. So let's see the plan section. Uh, in the plan section, uh, uh, the plan details is there. And uh, if you click on classes, then you can see from KD Junior, KD Senior, Animals, Monuments uh, to Class 12. So there uh, you can see that experiment section. Uh, actually, this experiment section uh, only uh, can be seen by the developers and admins. So teachers and students uh, can't see this experiment section. Only they can see in from KG senior uh, to class 12. And uh, let's see contacts. If you click on this contact button, then it will open the Gmail uh, for you directly to uh, contact uh, the our support system. So <clears throat> next, uh, if you click on the settings, then only one option is there that is background changing background color. We can change the background color uh, by uh, clicking on this. You can change the color or uh, just just uh, keep it like this and it will change the background color of the content. So let's uh, see. If you click on the sign out button, then it will um, take you to uh, this uh, login page again. And uh, you have to uh, put your email ID and password uh, from beginning. So okay let's see the classes so I now uh, I am going to show you some of my uh, my contents uh, which I have made so let's see uh, let's see the experiments uh, section first it will take some time yeah you can see this is an astronaut this is a 3d view we can uh, you, uh, switch uh, between AR view or 3D view anytime with this toggle button in the left side. And uh, wait, I will show you one thing. This is our uh, marker. Okay, so now this is red, so we can change it to anything, any color. So let it be red. So you can see the, in this section, uh, the four buttons are there. If you click on this section, it will rotate the 3D object in it uh, as I am doing this uh, hope you can see it uh, and uh, this is the uh, description button I button so yeah uh, so marker also another feature of our application so teachers can use the marker uh, during the session uh, of le during the uh, learning session 
and uh, <clears throat> yeah okay so let's see uh, in AR view so this is our astronaut there is an animation just it will take some time Okay, so this is the one. So one thing is, uh, okay, I'm switching it in 3D mode. <coughs> okay, so uh, okay, let's uh, let it be there. Uh, and uh, you can see this is a camera uh, <coughs> switch camera. We can uh, switch camera like this. Uh, if I click on this, it will <coughs> yeah you can see me. So it will switch the camera. If I click again, it then it will again just do like this so okay mm. okay so you can see again uh, this is the camera or oh, sorry this is the button to it will disable everything every button it will disable and this is the recording uh, record button and if you if i uh, click on this record button then uh, it will record the learning session uh, I mean, the, it will record the screen of, of the of your device and uh, of the teacher's voice also. So I will show you another some animals. So let's see. Click on classes again. Click on animals and uh, types of animals. Here is you can see many types of animals are there. Let's like domestic, wild uh, dinosaurs, insects, birds, and uh, reptiles. Let's see the reptiles first. This is me. So uh, you can able to hear the sound of this name. Let's see in AR mode. So this is me. Let's see another animal like lizard. Okay. You can uh, zoom in or zoom out as you want like this so let's see some another animals let's see some domestic animals it will take some time okay so, this one is buffalo let me switch in air mode so this one is buffalo other is horse Another uh, one thing is there uh, in the below right hand side you can see your content section if you click on this uh, another uh, section will be open uh, that is uh, teacher can uh, use this section uh, to show their own study materials to own their study contents like any PDF uh, study material JPG or PNG or any FDX and OBJ based or 3D model they can show there they can show here. So just uh, click on choose file, you need to just uh, choose file and uh, this is my SRS document so let's open it. So you see uh, just like this uh, teachers can show their PDF files like this and uh, they can uh, full screen it, they can zoom in it or zoom out and they can also stream it by our recording feature you can see. Uh, in this site and uh, they can use the marker as well they can record the uh, session they can use our marker and uh, okay so there is a uh, which is thing there is a uh, <coughs> back button back button means if you click uh, click on this then uh, it will show this as uh, it will uh, go back to the uh, default size okay now delete all this marker and uh, okay so uh, okay I will show you some another things just like any uh, PNG format also they can use just like just see this picture and uh, yeah 
they can show it like this also like uh, any jpg or png format uh, file they can also show show it like here they can also use our marker to show it uh, that uh, any to uh, highlight anything in this uh, file so they can use also our record feature as i told uh, so as we have seen that uh, application just now so let's see the societal impact so uh, as societal impact uh, this is the this is uh, this will be a better explanation of con complex concepts and uh, uh, elevated student it, it will elevate uh, student engagement and students can gain practical knowledge on a particular particular topic by our um, by the application and it, uh, this application is providing now uh, accessible learning so future reference uh, sorry future enhancement uh, so in future enhancement the virtual reality feature can be implemented uh, just like it's now only for ar based technology in future we uh, it can be uh, in implemented uh, the vr technology so in college level uh, history uh, college level history and geography 3d models can be added and another version of the application can be made which will be compatible with oculus quest vr so these are some references from which uh, I got some inspiration to make this application. Just uh, you can see this the textbook on AR technology is augmented reality theory design and development by Chetan Kumar Ji Setisha and some other links of our application portal and uh, other PNG uh, image references. And in conclusion, in uh, AR will be the future of our learning, and students can learn by themselves uh, by our application. Students can understand the topic deeply with realistic 3D models. In future, students can learn the topics with VR technology as well.